Well, the Underground Railroad is really at least two things. It's uh, both a story of reality and a history we can document with rich and numerous stories, but it is also um, uh, a mythology, a, a set of legends that Americans have, uh, have uh, fostered over the years and can't seem to live without. Uh, the Underground Railroad in operation was a loosely connected network, sometimes a network, of way stations um, across the border state region of the United States from lower New England all the way out to Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, even, even into Iowa, border states between North and South where fugitive slaves escaped. Now what, what we tend to refer to as the Underground Railroad in American classrooms and in American literature and especially in children's literature is this idea of a closely knit network of farms and stations with station masters and conductors and so forth who were, whose business it was, one would think, uh, full time to help slaves escape. It didn't really work that way. Most of the people who actually worked in the Underground Railroad were black, uh, not white. Uh, these were loosely connected networks of fugitive slave escape. Now we do know that in certain regions, such as southern Pennsylvania, parts of Maryland, uh, parts of northern Virginia, and places in Ohio in particular, and even over into Indiana and Illinois, there definitely were houses and farms and places we can still name today that actually did uh, house fugitive slaves and help fugitive slaves escape. However, in American folklore, and in American legend and mythology, we have appropriated any number of sites and any number of places, uh, from churches to farms to um, uh, 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 back buildings uh, to strange garrets uh, to strange cellars and, and, and underground passageways that we have come to believe were part of the Underground Railroad. The biggest problem with the Underground Railroad in the United States is that it has become a deep mythology that especially people in the North need to believe in because so many Northern communities want to believe that there was a site or more sites, more than one site, in their community that helped fugitive slaves escape. If all of the places that claim to have been depots or sites on the Underground Railroad really were sites on the Underground Railroad, slavery wouldn't have even lasted until 1860. That raises the question of why we need the mythology of the Underground Railroad, and that's hard to explain briefly, but it is a, it is a nice way, it's a passage into the story of slavery and anti-slavery. It's a passage into our understanding of slavery that is sometimes gentler and sometimes more savory than it is to look at slavery itself.